you probably have to differentiate between a short-term impact and a long-term impact. In, in the short term, a lot of exporters, a lot of firms are kind of locked in. Um, they will have to find ways to absorb the carbon price in their, in, in their operations. So sectors that are highly exposed to trade, like for example cement, where the cement manufacturers in Canada compete with imports, uh, may have a hard time sort of swallowing the impact of, of, of a, a carbon price in the short term. But if the world is moving to a, uh, if we're moving to a world of carbon pricing, um, so think, think longer term, um, firms should be adapting now, that actually starting now will put them in a much better position moving down the road. Clearly in Europe and places like China, we're moving to a world of where a price on carbon is going to exist. And if we're going to be really competitive in those, in those markets, uh, firms that trade either as exporters or importers should be looking to kind of adapt to what's becoming a, a global standard. So there's never too good a, too early a time to start adapting. And this is actually a good time for various sectors that are exposed to trade to think about how to adapt their behavior. We may well have to have policies in place that mitigate the impact in the short term, uh, but put us on a pathway to having a much more competitive economy where carbon pricing is kind of a natural thing uh, in Canada.